Black paying his mortgage right on time right now. Good yep. job, Rob. Absolutely. All right, let's talk about some viewer emails right now. Uh, this is the same question I think we all have. I'm nervous. Uh, how should I invest at this time? Uh, After you pay your mortgage. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's a good question. And, and it depends on what, you know, how you're investing and how old you are. Um, if you're 20, 30, 40, you probably shouldn't be nervous with the stock market. You should look at it as a wonderful buying opportunity. You shouldn't be nervous about the economy at a recession. Recessions happen. They're normal. Um, we come out of them, and they tend to be great buying opportunities. But if you're, you know, you're 55, 60, and you're starting to get up there, and you don't have time to, to, to heal or recover, um, utility stocks, uh, nice dividends, and they tend to be a flight to safety during any sort of economic peril uh, until the jobs come back. Is buy and hold still the way to go with stocks? You know, I've never really believed in buy and hold. I believe okay. I, I, my phrase is accumulate wealth and then okay. manage it. So when you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, you buy mid caps, you buy small caps, you buy international, and you keep doing that, and you keep like loving your wife and going on vacation, and you keep accumulating, keeping later. That's when you really want to manage what you have very intelligently and very wisely. Okay, I've got a great question here coming in from Anthony. We just saw the Golden State Warriors sell for $450 million. Yeah, yeah. They made $11.9 million last year. Was that 40 times multiple? And uh, Anthony's asking, professional sports are too expensive. Can I bet against them? Can you short sports teams? You know, there is one that you can do, and uh, Madison Square Garden is publicly traded, right. and they're obviously tied towards the Knicks, the Rangers, and the Yankees on some levels because of the, the you know New York City exposure. Um, I tend not to recommend that because... Uh, um, as sports have gotten more and more expensive, you and I used to go to games for pennies and nickels. Mm -hmm. Now it's multiple hundreds of dollars. Um, and yet there's always an audience for it. And the sports teams themselves become more profitable by kicking us out and going after more of the corporate sponsors. Well, talk about that deal with the Golden State Warriors from a financial standpoint. Does it make sense? Um, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But, you know, at this, uh, if you were to buy a weak team, now's the time to do it. Um, because if they get them to the playoffs, the value likely will go higher. So yeah, I like the investment lesson of buy when you can, mm -hmm. uh, when the team is is winning five championships in a row, don't buy. But when the team goes to the playoff once in 15 years, that's when you absolutely want to buy a franchise. Try to turn it around and then sell it. Maybe we could do that for season tickets? Maybe. Now's a good time to buy Warriors season tickets, maybe? I'm, you know, <laughs> I, I personally like the minor leagues. Okay. So, um, it, you know, there's not good minor league basketball, but minor league baseball is so much more affordable for families mm -hmm. than major league baseball. And again, I want to save as much as I can and invest as much as I can. So, sorry, Giants, but <laughs> my San Jose Giants are a much better bang All right. for your buck. Yeah, more more entertaining, a lot of family fun at those minor league games. That's kind of what I'm getting at. All right, thank you, Rob. And if you have an email for Rob Black, a question, you can send in that email to rob at robblack.com. And we'll be right back.